Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at game number 17 in our 20 from the Intellivision series. This game was a sequel to Burger Time, all-time uh, classic arcade and home port game, and that will show up later on in this list. But uh, this was uh, created by the INTV Corporation in 1987, and uh, this is called Diner. And I wasn't as crazy about this as a lot of other uh, Intellivision fans. But it's it's definitely playable. It's got great, great music. Um, here is the overlay. It's very, very simple. All you got to do is... Uh, you got to remember one player or two player buttons, one and two. And then uh, enter at the bottom right to enter your selection. And then the side buttons are for Pepper and the uh, disc controller moves you around. I keep calling it a dial, I'm sorry. It's a disc, it's not a dial. So I'll try to remember that better in the future. You can also select which of the four difficulty levels you want to start on, one, two, three, or four, with uh, one, two, three, or four uh, keypad buttons, and you'll be prompted to do so after you select one or two player game. This was created by the INTV Corp and uh, also Real Time Associates Incorporated in 1987. And in 1987, the INTV Corp had bought the rights to Intellivision properties from Mattel Electronics. But this is the second sequel to Burger Time. The first sequel was for the uh, Deco cassette system called Peter Pepper's Ice Cream Factory in Arcades. And it wasn't very good. This one's this one's all right, um, but a lot of fans really love this. I, I like the uh, I like the uh, sort of instructions screen here. It's kind of funny. Amaze your friends, <laughs> but uh, the goal is to kick balls of food so that they roll down the screen and into a a plate. And you need to uh, kick them all down there. Uh, the levels will change the layout. There will be ladders you climb up, there will be uh, open spaces you can move around, and you, really what you want to do in this game is try to get your score ramped up, and you really can do that. First off, you select one or two players, and uh, then you can select which stage you want to start on, and you can select one through four. But your goal is to kick all the food balls to the to the plate at the bottom, and enemies in the way will get hit, and you will get points. And you can really ramp up your score because the first enemy hit will be 500. If you hit two enemies with one food ball, it's 1,000 points. You hit three enemies, it's 2,000. Hit four enemies, it's 4,000. And hit all five enemies. There's, there's up to five enemies on the screen at a time. That's 8,000 points. And you get an extra life every 20,000. So you can really rack your score up. And that's probably the biggest, uh, the biggest plus to this game for a lot of uh, diner fans. And uh, the four enemies that will four different enemies that will attack you will be the hot dog Mr. Hot Dog from Burger Time a uh, mug of root beer called Mugsy a banana and a cherry and there will also be bonus food items called side orders that will appear once in a while and you could collect them for an extra pepper and yeah you can shake pepper in this game again there's a coffee a sundae, a malt, a soda, and a burger. And once you complete four stages, four rounds, then you can play a bonus game, and we'll look at that later on. Well, let's get started. And, uh, again, your goal is to kick all those food balls and, uh, knock them down into that, uh, tray at the bottom of the screen. And you have a lot of uh, open areas where you can kind of goad the enemies into a group. 
and then uh, knock them all down with one uh, ball of food. Now, one thing you definitely want to remember is uh, one that the enemies will regroup right from. Ooh, that, that was nice. The maximum you can get for an enemy is 8,000. And uh, the maximum amount of enemies that can appear at once is 5. And they will respawn from the number value, the point value that they leave. I like that uh, it doesn't say like uh, 8 comma 0 0 0 for 8,000. It says 8K. <laughs> I like that. But uh, when they return from uh, their point value area, you know, where their point value was, when they respawn, you can maybe uh, lead them away towards another food ball and uh, knock a bunch of them down again. Whoops, I missed them. I think after every, like, three, three food balls that you kick, a uh, side order will appear, and that will give you an extra pepper. But, um, yeah, if you pick up the side order, I think it's like 250 points, you get an extra life every 20,000 points. So if you get really proficient about grouping the enemies out uh, together and taking a whole bunch of them out at once, you can easily rack up the extra lives. This game is a bit on the easy side. And uh, I'm, I'm just not as big a fan of it as a lot of other Intellivision fans were. Just learn how to goad the enemies towards you or to go up ladders towards you. And uh, you can get pretty far in this game. But yeah, the point values are 500 for one, 1,000 for a second, uh, 4,000 for a, or uh, 2,000 for a third, 4,000 for a fourth, and uh, 8,000 for a fifth. But yeah, 20,000 for an extra life is, is pretty attainable. Now it looks like there's like an underpass that you can go through. Or a, a couple underpasses on this screen. You can't. That's, that's just for decoration, I guess. But uh, you can just go up the, the ladders and up the stairs. The uh, layout will change for uh, later stages. There will be eventually be different types of food balls, but they 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 uh, operate the same. You just kick them and make them roll down towards uh, the food tray. It's kind of uh, kind of gross that uh, you you kick the food balls and apparently they get served uh, somewhere later on down the line. <laughs> It almost seems like perhaps the uh, the mug of root beer is a little smarter than the hot dogs. Sometimes he'll try to go around a different way to uh, get to you. The uh, food items are uh, or the food balls are uh, meatballs, mashed potatoes, rice balls, lettuce balls, and macaroni balls. But, uh, I did not play this back in the day. Uh, I had barely, barely heard of it. I was more into, uh, Burger Time, and Burger Time is a, uh, for the Intellivision is a fantastic adaptation of the arcade, uh, classic. It plays very, very similar. Uh, arcade ports to the, uh, Intellivision were done a hell of a lot better than the Atari uh, ports in general. Or uh, Atari uh, arcade ports to the Atari 2600 system. Sometimes the, the food balls 
we'll roll down uh, ladders or we'll roll down stairs. Those uh, those uh, side orders do not last very long. So uh, if it's far away at the other end of the maze from where you are, uh, you could probably just forget it. <laughs> you won't need to use your pepper very often. But when you do use your pepper, uh, you might find out that, uh, that it, you're going to be using it more than you want to. You'll get into the habit of, uh, of using it too often, and then all of a sudden you're out of it. And on the later levels, you're going to really wish you had tons of pepper. <laughs> Uh, later on in the game, there will be uh, some new perks, some uh, new things on the stages, and that'll start with uh, stage four. There will be uh, parts of the floor that open up. Yeah, use the uh, if you have wide open spaces, uh, you can get around your foes and maybe group them uh, a little bit better for uh, a big bonus f with one uh, food ball. But um, the uh, hit detection isn't perfect on this game. Ooh, that was nice. The hit detection isn't perfect on this game. You can uh, be on a slightly different plane than the enemy, and they'll still somehow touch you and kill you. And you'll be like, uh, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> yeah, I was not super crazy about this game. I mean, it's, it's definitely playable, and the, the music is very peppy. And, uh, well in keeping with the, uh, original Burger Time. But, uh, this did not have any input from Data East, as far as I know. You know, and Data East, of course, made the original... And there I used uh, pepper on Mr. Hot Dog there. Uh, after four rounds, you will play a bonus game. And we will look look at that uh, a little bit later. Now, uh, at the top left is the amount of lives you have. At the center is your score. And at the right is the amount of peppers that you have. get that uh, side order either. And then at the bottom right is the uh, stage number that you're on. But uh, starting round four, there will be floors that open up. And if you uh, are standing on the floor when it opens up, you will die. There will also later on be a uh, series of elevators. up to a higher floor or bring you down to a lower floor, kind of like uh, Crystal Castles. And there we go. Yeah, it's easy to get a pretty high score uh, once you get used to uh, the mechanics of this game. Yeah, and here's, here's those floors that open up. And you look for a green spot in the floor, and that'll tell you where it can open up. guys up here. Yeah, that was nice. Shoot, just missed that one. Yeah, the enemies will not die if they stand on a uh, floor that opens up. They will be pushed backwards or forward. Whoa, that was close. that uh, meatball very well. And I did not did not play Diner back in the day, but I definitely heard of it. But uh, 
I definitely played Burger Time, and that was a great, uh, great port for the uh, Intel mission. And I had to use that pepper on him. Now I'm only down to one. Ah, sweet. Good move. And I think I'll get that price for that uh, uh, side order. I hope you're able to stay at least somewhat healthy during this uh, coronavirus scare. Um, ooh, that was very nice. And I hope that, uh, hope you're able to, uh, have enough toilet paper to get by at least. Things are just going crazy with, uh, basic supplies and, uh, toilet paper being, uh, snatched up off the shelves. There we go. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you can really, uh, ramp up the score on this game. There we go. And now here is the bonus stage. Catch as many of those falling uh, food items as you can. They're a thousand points each, but stay away from the flashing ones. Catch a flashing one and you will lose a life. And the bonus stage will end. So if you had just that one life left and you touch a flashing item, your game will end. And now we have the bananas. Yeah, I... I... I can play this for sure. This is definitely playable. But I just... I just didn't like it as much as uh, a lot of other... Uh, Intellivision fans did. I... I think maybe I felt it was too easy. Uh, the, uh, collision detection was a bit off for me. Uh, there we go. Another extra life. I'm not gonna play throughout a whole game, but I will just, I will show you, uh, the most important parts of, uh, Diner. At one point or another, there will be a sign that says Raise, and that was, uh, that was Ray Kastner, and he was a programmer for, uh, uh, both Burger Time and Diner on the Intellivision. But, uh, uh, this was credited to INTV, and it was also created by Real Time Associates Incorporated. Just a bunch of uh, Intellivision programmers who have you know, worked on other Intellivision games, including uh, Ray Kastner. Yeah, we will uh, eventually skip forward to other parts of Diner. And don't don't let your eyes deceive you. It looks like there will be a lot of uh, special doorways you can go through or underpasses you can go under. No, <laughs> you can't. It's 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 just for decoration <laughs> on the maze. Yeah, those those uh those side orders that give you an extra pepper just do not last very long. Uh, other other games in the Burger Time series. There was a uh, Burger Time Deluxe, I think, for the Game Boy. There was, uh, I think, Super Burger Time. That might have been Japan only. And then there might have been a Wii version of Burger Time. I can't remember for sure. But definitely a classic, uh, classic game. I remember when I, uh, my friends first at, at school were first telling me, and here's the elevators, my friends at school were first telling me about Burger Time, they were like, oh, there's this cool, there's this cool, uh, arcade game that, that has you making burgers, and I was like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of, 
Eh. They, they showed me. It, it was a huge success. Ah, oh, dang it. But yeah, remember, they will always uh, come out of those, their, uh, their merge from their uh, point value. And we'll scoot forward to the second bonus stage, and I'm going to catch one of those flashing uh, items and die. all the stages have to offer as far as I know. I don't think there's anything particularly new that the later stages will will have. But, uh, that's Diner, game number 17 in R20 from the Intellivision series. And uh, yeah, I greatly prefer Burger Time. And that will be later on our list. And here's the game over. But uh, I thank you for watching Diner. Diner was created in 1987 by the INTV Corp and Real Time Associates Incorporated which included Ray Kastner. But uh, I thank you for watching Diner, created by In INTV Corp and Real Time Associates Incorporated in 1987. This is Crazy Clown Race, and thanks for watching Diner, game number 17 in our 20 from the Intellivision series. And I hope to see you soon with game number 16. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.